Today we're going to be working on a study of rosé, as you can see right here, from Blackpink. We are going to be using these two colours, Blackpink, <laughs> and I'm giving myself 30 minutes to work on this study slash sketch. If it takes over 30 minutes, so be it, but I'm going to give myself a timer of 30 minutes. If you would like to see this tutorial alongside other great tutorials, fun and exciting, mixed media, studies, different type of things, check out my Patreon for a fee of five dollars. You have access to over 65 different tutorials and you can cancel at any time. Now with this piece, the reason why I've started sketching again is simply because it just makes me feel great. Like a, it's like a therapy session early in the morning. As you guys saw, my timer is at 7.30. Um, first thing in the morning wake up get my sketchbook actually my sketchbook's already out placed on my table just ready for me to go um so for me it was more of a a good way just to i want to get better at sketching i want to be able to sketch a human's face within a 30 minute window um i don't know why but it's just something i decided to do um, you know what i mean i just i just find it challenging and it's fun you know to like look at a human's face and just get the finer details and everything and 30 minutes is not that long of a time. I did realize when I was doing like the sketching every day, I did get better and better at sketching. And it's also something that I want my students on Patreon to acknowledge and everything. And I feel like me doing it on a day-to-day -day basis will kind of push them as well um, to, to try out sketching every day. And as well as you guys, me uploading these time-lapse videos, if you guys are seeing it on a constant basis, I'm sure you guys are gonna be like, you know what, I wanna, I wanna sketch more, I wanna, practice more about proportions, facial features, um, get to understand the face more. Because the thing about sketching, a lot of people don't really rate sketching, I don't know why, um, but you still have to do the fundamentals when it comes to sketching. It's not like you automatically cancel all the fundamental rules just because you're sketching the image. It's like, no, the principles still apply, you know what I mean? The eyes, do they line up? The nose, does it line up? You know, the mouth. The distance between everything it still applies because you are still trying to get the image accurate it's just more of a loose drawing like if mistakes happen mistakes happen it's not really like it's like you know, i'm just sketching i think the biggest difference when it comes to a sketch and like a really detailed piece the biggest difference for me is definitely time that's pretty much it everything else still applies you know what i mean like i'm not gonna sketch just be like you know i'm just doing it just to mess around and for it if, it if it goes wrong it goes wrong i am as well a little bit when it like if a sketch goes wrong a sketch goes wrong but i'm there to acknowledge why did it go wrong i'm not just gonna be like ah it was a sketch just throw it away i'm gonna sit there and analyze like okay where did i go wrong and why did i go wrong because even if i was doing a very detailed drawing I probably still would have gone wrong you know if that makes any sense i don't know if it makes am i making sense i'm sure i'm making sense to myself i'm making sense maybe to you guys i ain't but yeah with this one i decided to start with pink and then after the pink i will apply the black i feel like that was a smart move because if i went black straight away um that's just straight dark lines whereas the pink underneath first it, i could adjust after when i applied the black on top i'm like you know what that was a bit off let me add a bit you know what I mean? Like, let me push it up a bit or reduce it a little bit. Um, I was just going for it. You know what I mean? Just, just cross-hatching, still trying to keep the strokes clean and smooth, you know, um, doing following the hair in the direction of the hair. Like, these rules still apply. Um, if anything, there was only, like, the top and everything that was a bit more, like, very loose with um, and not really focus on how clean the strokes are. But as for the hair, the, the lips, eyes rules still apply you go in and that like you never cross hatch hair i don't care if you're sketching i don't care if you're doing a very detailed drawing cross hatching hair is a no uh, go no i will find you <laughs> that's what i'm saying if you're cross hatching hair i'll find you some way somehow i'll find you and it's gonna be a problem <laughs> so don't do it guys yeah don't do it um, but yeah sketching i'm just doing it just to loosen up have fun with it and again like i said i just want to get better at sketching it's something i love it's something i like doing when i'm traveling on a train um during the day like in the morning if i'm going to the gym i get my sketchbook out so on the train sketching it's just a very fun activity 
and I feel like I might have to be that guy that brings it back out like makes it a thing like a legitimate thing because I feel like a lot of people's like it's always the fancy stuff it's always got to be like amazing like a 25 hour drawing or you know like it's got to be proper, proper detailed for people to be like oh wow like for someone to produce a sketch in 30 minutes for you for you for you to recognize who it is that is still wow do you know what i mean like for me that's still wow like if, if a person can draw and sketch out a human being in 30 minutes and you recognize who it is that's wow that's like a, that's that's still amazing um you know of course you give props to people that spend tons and hours on on their on their pieces and stuff which i love they're, they're the ones i love the most but sketching shouldn't be like just put underneath the rug like oh sketching forget that it's, it's not important for me sketching is definitely one of the biggest reasons why i've developed the skill that i have why i understand the bullpen pen so much understand how much pressure to apply how much pressure not to apply all that stemmed off me sketching in the beginning and just being loose and just trying to get familiar with the tool and the best way to do that is by repetition constantly doing it over and over and over again um, and if you're doing like producing one drawing a month and then you have someone that's producing a drawing a day minimum who do you reckon is going to learn faster you know i know some people are like no but quality yes i get it quality over quantity i get it you know sometimes but when it comes to learning that quantity is very important you need to be applying you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little voiceover over this sketch. And I'll be doing much more of this over on Patreon as well. Real time ones for you to check out. So make sure to go check out the Patreon. Join the family. And if you have any suggestions, I will highly, highly do it for you. Because you guys support your boy in it. So I'm here for you guys. So if you guys do have any recommendations, just let me know. And we can get it done. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.